Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I'm Leanne. Today I'd like to talk about something that I hear a lot of people saying when in manifesting they want to give up. They say, it's too hard. Leanne, it's too hard. I have to affirm. I have to focus. It's too hard. Okay, but you're manifesting every day anyway. And it's a lifestyle. Why would you want to give up? You know, if you really want it badly enough, you will continue affirming, visualizing, consciously creating this life that you want. Giving up is not an option if you want the outcome. Think about it in anything that you do in life. You know, like when you're in um, elementary school and you're first learning how to read. Of course, you're not going to just give up. Yeah, it's hard, but you continue going, you know, and then eventually you can read. You're not going to just say, okay, I'm throwing in the towel, go home, and then you never read again. Obviously, you don't have to work to manifest because you're manifesting anyway. Just sitting there, you're manifesting everything around you. But when you want to change the story, change that narrative, and live in the wish fulfilled, you have to put the work in. You have to consciously think about it. You know, like if you want that success, then you're not going to just keep um, talking about how your life is miserable and you have no money, you have no job, for example, and um, keep thinking about how everything sucks. That's not going to get you to where you want to be. But by putting in the work, you know, the techniques or whatever it is, Techniques you don't have to really do. You don't have to continue doing them forever. But why a lot of us coaches talk about techniques is it actually helps you to get you out of that old story. You know, for example, if you're telling yourself, um, you know, every person that you date cheats on you, for example, and you notice that pattern, everybody you're dating is cheating on you or leaving you. Well, you you have to put the work in to change that story so that it can show up as the new story. I hope I'm making sense. So for example, you would say things like, um, everybody is faithful to me. And I don't mean just say it once and then go about your day and everything's great, you know, and everything's going to change. That's not it at all. You continue affirming you persist until it hardens into fact until you see it. Like, for example, I've seen people who want to manifest a specific person back, you know, if they had broken up and they'll affirm, they'll visualize, they'll do the work, you know, um, what we talk about. And then their specific person will send them a text. So then they think, oh my God, I have them back. And then they stop doing the work. And then they wonder how come their person went hot and cold on them, you know, like they came in, they texted them, they might have even wanted to meet up with them and then they went cold again. Well, it's because you stopped. It had not hardened into fact. If you want to be with this person, you know, dating this person, married to this person, whatever it is, you have to continue doing the work until that happens. Then when it happens and you see it is a natural thing, then you're like, okay, great. I don't have to affirm for that anymore or visualize. So I can move on to the next thing. So think about it. When you say it's too hard, that in itself is an affirmation. You are affirming that manifesting is too hard for you. Anything that you say is an affirmation. So from now on, switch it. And tell yourself, manifesting is so easy for me. I manifest quickly. I always manifest my positive desires. How I do it is in the morning when I get up, I think I mentioned this in a past video, I will look in the mirror because for some reason when you look in your own eyes, it just has power. So I'll look in my eyes, I'll say the affirmations that I set out for that day, and then I'll make my coffee, have my breakfast, whatever, go about my day, do my work. If I feel uh, that tinge of negativity, that worried thought or, or whatever, you know, towards what I'm working towards, um, 
then I will affirm again. And I won't affirm like while I'm typing or while I'm watching something on, on TV or, or, you know, even making a video. You really want to put your focus into it, you know? So it's kind of like if you're trying to study something, you can't be having, you know, 50,000 things going on in the background and, uh, you know, expect it to really sink in. So you really want to put some focus into your affirming. So I might take like just a five minute break um, and then I'll affirm again and then I'll start feeling that, oh, okay, that relief, that positivity. All right, I'm back in the flow again. We are constantly shifting into different states all the time, every second. It's impossible as humans to stay in that state so that's why like uh i mentioned that it's a lifestyle you know because you might have the person that you want the job that you want but then if you just forget about it and then you're having all these negative thoughts again you know you might shift back into something or see something that you don't like like maybe you'll lose that job or that person you know will become negative with you uh, and not the person that you wanted them to be so for example if i'm affirming for something and then something negative is showing up of course i'm human i might get triggered it's gonna bother me but if i stay in that worried thought you know like you might have had that where you're like Oh no what if this happens and oh god what if that happens and you know you just use you, you you spiral but if you you stop yourself take a deep breath and just keep affirming it's okay everything always works out for me everything always works out for me that's one of my favorite affirmations and another one is i'm safe and secure eventually you will start feeling like okay i'm stepping back into that state of that feeling because the feeling is the secret. You will have to have that feeling before you see it showing up. I hope that made sense. So remember, don't give up. I know you want to, I know you're saying it's hard, but it's really not that hard. Actually affirm that it's easy. Just affirm to yourself, manifesting is easy for me. Manifesting is the easiest thing that I can do. I know how to manifest. I hope that helped. So thank you for joining me today. If you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe. And have yourself a beautiful day, and I will see you in the next video.